Hi Thai Grabbers, today we're going to learn how to color tone or color grade your photo in Photoshop. We will use a tool called Gradient Map. Remember that name correctly because it's a very useful tool that can help you with your photograph. Without any further ado, let's play that intro. Hi guys, so as usual, you need to take a shot of your figure first. I'm going to use this Luffy figure from the anime One Piece. And I shot this pic outdoor. And if you finish shooting, turn on your computer and open Photoshop. First, import the picture. Then you will see on the right side there's an adjustment tab here. You can click this gradient map icon. And if you can find this adjustment tab, just go to window and make sure you tick the adjustment. Or you can also find gradient map down here. Click this circle icon and you will find it here. Now let's try to click it. As you can see my image turned black and white. It is because the gradient map will make a gradient based on your foreground and background color. So don't worry about it. Now let's click the gradient bar on your right side. It will open the gradient editor. You can adjust any color that you want here. Let's take a look at these two colors. The left side is your shadows color, and the right side is your highlights color. You can add one or more colors to the gradient by simply clicking on it. And if you click at the middle point, it will be your midtones color. There are also a lot of gradient presets in here. Okay, let's try one of these presets. I will choose this one. These gradients will turn your shadow color to blue, your midtones to red, and the highlights to yellow. Just click OK for now. I know it looks too strong in this image. I will reduce the opacity to around 10% and you will see it makes the picture looks better. You can see the comparison of before and after by clicking this eye icon. Now I reset the opacity back to 100% and I change the blending style to soft light first and then I reduce the opacity and fill to my liking. So this is another way that I usually do when applying gradient map. It's up to you to choose the first method or this method. It will be the same. Let's try another gradient color. I will make the first gradient map layer invisible by clicking this icon. Now click this gradient map and select this gradient bar. I will set a custom color. Click at this shadows color and I change it to blue or teal color. Then set the highlights color to orange. You can choose whatever color that you like here. You can also drag this point to the right or left to make the color more dominant. Now after you click OK, you can repeat my previous steps by set the blending style to soft light. Or if you don't want to do it, it's okay. Just reduce the opacity and fill. You can see the difference here. Actually, you only need one gradient map to color grade your picture. I just make a lot of gradient map layer here, just for examples. Now I make this layer invisible again. I will try to create new gradient map. Now after you open the gradient editor, click this small gear icon up here and it will show you a list of other presets that you can use. I will choose this photographic toning since it's provided by Adobe for photographers. Click it and choose a pen. As you can see here, the gradient editor will import new presets and you can try one of it to apply a new color tone for your image. Pick one and repeat all the steps that we did before. This 
tool is very easy to use and it will come in handy for your photo editing process. And this is the last one. I will create new gradient map and disable all previous gradient layer. I will open my browser and google gradient color palette. There will be a lot of websites that you can use to get color palette code for your gradient. I will choose webgradients.com. By the way, this is not sponsored. You will see there will be various gradient colors in this web. What you need to do is copy the color code and paste it on the gradient editor. Now let's try to find a color that I like. Now I will choose this color palette called Night Party. I will copy this code, right click, then select copy. This is for the shadows color. Now open Photoshop, click the point right here and paste it right here. After that just click OK. And copy the other code which is the highlights color. Open the website again and repeat my previous step. Paste it again in Photoshop and click OK. As usual, I set the blending style to soft light and adjust the opacity and fill. So here it is, we got a unique color here, a combination of blue and purple. If you think the gradient color don't match your image or maybe you don't like it, you can always find another gradient color palette on the website and just copy the code to Photoshop. That's all for a quick Photoshop tricks video. I hope it will be useful for your toy photography works or maybe other photography stuff since you can use it in all types of photography. Now give this video a like and share it if you think it's useful. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorial. Also if you have any questions or comments or cool critics, just type it down below. Thank you so much for watching this guys. See you in the next video. Bye.